Yeah, welcome once again to this IVF education program titled Ask Dr. Ken. In today's episode, we'll be looking at whether it is necessary to have fibroid surgeries before embarking on IVF treatment. So the question is, is it necessary to have myomectomy or fibroid surgery before embarking on an IVF treatment cycle? We know that fibroids are benign growths on the uterus of a woman within the reproductive age. A lot of blacks have fibroid because we are genetically predisposed to having fibroid. And staying for a long period of time without having babies when you're due uh, predisposes a young woman to having fibroid. There are genetic also uh, correlations uh, fibroid as in it could run in families. The diet and lifestyle also predisposes us to having fibroid according to recent findings. A lot of women assessing IVF treatment cycle may have stayed for a long period of time before putting themselves together to assess the treatment of IVF. And that long period of time predisposes them to having growth in the uterine cavity or on the uterus itself. And the common growth seen among this age group of people is a fibroid. The question now is, is it necessary to have fibroid surgery before IVF treatment? A lot of thoughts have been, uh, have, have been mentioned or have been discussed about fibroid surgeries, myomectomy, and IVF. But recently, a publication from the American Society of Obstetrics and Gynecology uh, says that fibroid surgeries, no matter how small the fibroid is, may be very necessary before embarking on IVF. The reason is that studies have shown that uh, people without fibroids have increased chance of achieving IVF pregnancies than those with fibroid. Yeah, the difference may be small, but the problem here is that it also depends on the location of the fibroid. The fibroid can be located in the uterine cavity. Fibroid may also be located just under the lining of the womb. We call such kind of fibroids submucous fibroid. We have some other fibroids that are located on the on the body at the, in the body of the uterus. We call them uh, intramural fibroids. Those are the various locations of fibroids. And what they do here is that one, if, a large, if you have a large fibroid, large fibroid will increase the size of the entire uterus. And uh, once the size of the uterus is so enlarged, sometimes make it so difficult to even visualize the ovaries. And if you have difficulty visualizing the ovaries, what that means is there will be problem with monitoring in IVF because the eggs that are developing or growing in the, on, the, on the ovaries will not be seen easily. The second problem would be that the process of egg retrieval may be a little difficult because uh, the fibroid will also make it difficult to access uh, the ovaries on the day of egg retrieval. In this case, it will be necessary to remove the fibroids before IVF is attempted. Also, fibroids located just under the lining of the womb, called submucous fibroid, may pose a problem with implantation. And even if pregnancy is achieved, there is also there may be an added risk of having a miscarriage. Such fibroids should also be removed. Fibroid that is inhabiting the uterine cavity, we call those. Uh, intracavitary fibroid or endometrial fibroids, and those should outrightly be removed before a woman even embarks on the IVF treatment cycle. And also, if fibroids are not even removed and pregnancy is achieved, it's not about having achieving pregnancy by IVF. The process of carrying pregnancies could also be complicated by the existence of a fibroid on a uterus of a woman. There could be problem with miscarriage in the later days in the pregnancies. There will be problem with early delivery because presence of huge fibroid or numerous fibroid on the uterus could make a woman have a preterm delivery. And this could actually bring challenges to the woman, to the baby that is delivered before time and all the developmental problems associated with preterm delivery. After birth, 
bleeding may be a problem, what we call postpartum hemorrhage, because the uterus will not contract as it ought to contract to, to reduce or stop bleeding after delivery. So those are some of the problems that fibroid can pose to a woman that is desiring to achieve in pregnancy by IVF or even by the conventional means of uh, conception. So in my thought, I think that fibroid surgeries, I mean fibroids should be uh, really evaluated and the individual having this fibroid should be evaluated on the merit of her own rights. And the decision whether fibroid surgery should be mandatory before IVF or not should be individualized and should be a case different analysis. If a woman is, as, is deemed to have been needing fibroid surgery before IVF, of course she should have it. So we don't waste a whole lot of money achieving pregnancy only to lose the pregnancy and have added complications. For more information about uh, IVF, fibroids and other diseases affecting fertility, you could visit our website www.abshospitals.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel where you could have more news information about fertility and IVF or better still, uh, contact us through any of our social our media handle. Till I come your way next time, thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Kenneth Eguda, a consultant gynecologist and an IVF specialist.